You know how I'm your fairy godmother? And you're really single? You're hope hopelessly single. Okay, but it's my job to look out for you as your fairy godmother. But you're making it so hard. You're making it really difficult. Okay, you're giving me all these trucks. I didn't sign. But I did find something. I found something just for you. A man? No. A woman? No. No, no. It's, it was a dating show. I found a dating show for the hopelessly single. For those of us who don't have options and who can't have the luxury to have standards anymore. Okay? You've been on the market too <laughs> You've been in the market too long. Alright? It's time to lower these standards. It's not about compatibility. Put that shit. Throw that shit out the window. Who cares if you're compatible? Baggage. That's the show for today, guys. And it's all about picking the best of the worst, okay? What this show focuses on is not your fing distinguishing virtues. No, I don't care. I wanna know why you suck. Okay, that's what this show is all about. The three contestants that are competing for the date are meant to show all their past mistakes. And you, you get to decide, okay? Based on these mistakes, that's what this show is. They like to word it differently. To them, baggage, it's... Where we help singles find love no matter what secrets and dirty laundry lurk in their lives. No matter how much you suck, we'll somehow make it work. We'll find you love, okay? This is Kristen. And that is Jerry Springer. And I'm sure you recognize the man, okay? If, if there is a trashy TV show, talk show, game show, chances are Jerry Springer is the host. Well, let's meet Justin here. <laughs> Man's is, honestly, he's just embarrassing, okay? He's just, I don't know, something about him embarrasses me. It's like a relative you're, you just don't want to like introduce to anyone. You know, he's like this guy you just want to keep hidden. Just don't go on TV again. You know, just, oh fuck. Jerry's on TV again. Well, hell fine, that's a great idea. That's the vibe he gives me. He gives me the creeps, frankly, okay? Especially because he stands too close to people. I don't like people who stand too close. Mmm, I'm looking for a very funny man. He's just, just, Jesus, man. You know you're too close when the person you're talking to has to kind of look to the side while they answer your question so that they don't breathe on you. We've got three handsome guys that I'm gonna get you to meet now. Let's use Kristen to explain the show. Kristen has three options, three possible guys she can date. And every single one of these guys comes in with three suitcases. Every suitcase, a different size, representing the baggage within. Now baggage, doesn't mean Jerry Springer's gonna rummage through people's shit until he finds something dirty on them. No, don't worry. Jerry's creepy, but he's not gonna do that. He will take pictures of you, though. Wouldn't you take pictures of me all day if I were with you? <laughs> In the show, like, on set, like, just for his future use. But in those suitcases, are basically issues from the past. That's what baggage is, right? Issues from past relationships, or traumas, or mistakes you've done in the past, red flags, perhaps. And every suitcase carries a bigger piece of baggage, okay? The first is a small baggage. We'll just show you, like, whatever. Like, look, this is my baggage. <laughs> so, I'm so quirky, you know? And then the second round of baggage is a bigger issue, but we're not gonna know whose it is, okay? Bag number one. Which one of these three dudes? We'll know when she decides which one's not for her. Guys, it is time to claim your baggage. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Peter. It's time to pack your bags and go. <coughs> really? <laughs> it's a little quiet. Oh. Why is it so quiet? It's just a little awkward, you know? Vance had to look everybody in the eye while he did that. She'll just eliminate people based on their baggage until she has to reveal her own to the remaining contestant, okay? But now let's take a look at this dude. Let's meet our lucky dater. He's a huge sports fan from San Angelo, Texas. Please welcome Jet. Nice. What does Jed do? Oh, he's just a, he's a sports fan. Jerry introduces everybody by what they do here. Okay, their jobs. He's a sports coach. She's a graphic designer. She's a director of a nonprofit. She's a hypnotherapist. But what does Jed do? He's a huge sports fan. So when you're on a date and you want to ask Jed what he does for a living, hey cutie, what do you do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm a sports fan. He's a sports fan. Okay. So it sounds like a fun job. We've got three lovely ladies for you here. You want to meet them? Of 
Of course. First, let's say hello to Trisha. Trisha. Hi, Jet. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Trisha. Did you say hi? Here's Maya. Hi, Jet. Maya. Hey, Maya. Did you say hi to Maya? I am a journalist from New York. I am very laid back. And Jet, if you pick me. Pick me. Pick me, Jet. Now you'll see later. She actually emits, she exudes pick me girl energy. Which I hope you do because you are gorgeous. <laughs> then uh, I promise you lots of fun filled adventures, completely drama free. Drama free, okay? That's something these girls can't give you. Pick me. Now let's say hi to Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Jet. Hi. He didn't say hi to Susan. That was his first mistake. That was his first and possibly last mistake, let me tell you. He said hi to Maya, he said hi to Trisha, but he didn't say hi to Susan. And Susan doesn't forget these things. Susan will remember. You can run real fast. Don't bow too soon. Don't bow too soon because we haven't seen the baggage yet. The dirty past. Ladies, it's time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. I refuse to ride escalators. Is that really like a flaw? Is that really a flaw? To ride escalators. He can't take it. Seven stages of grief right there. Es escalators. Okay, she didn't say she was unfaithful. Or imagine you're doing a job interview. Okay, and it's like, <clears throat> ma'am, your CV, it looks good. Okay, we're very excited to kind of have you on board, but this you not being able to get to the second floor is kind of an issue. I can see how that can be a problem, actually. You guys not have stairs? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't... It's like saying I'm afraid of standing. I don't... What? <laughs> okay, what's it? I mean, it's not... No, it's not the same. I, Judy, my sister, she hates escalators. She has a chronic fear of escalators. Maybe that's why I think... I don't think it's that weird, but... I'm a big pot smoker. Is that baggage? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he said, is that baggage? Okay. I do do it legally, just so you know. I do have a prescription and I am a health nut. I, I can't with the way she speaks. <laughs> it's just kids. I don't know why. I just, I think she's trying so hard to be like, it's, it's very pick me. I don't know what it is. It's just the way she speaks. But I do smoke mainly when I have PMS. And in my opinion, if every girlfriend smoked or wife smoked when they had PMS, there would be no arguments during that time. Just love. Oh yeah, because that's why arguments always start. Yeah, all arguments are because of PMSing, like PMSing women. That's why all arguments start, you know? I will not fight. I will, I refuse to fight you for no, for unwarranted reasons like all these women do. It's all they do. They just fight you for no reason. If only women could learn from you. I really got carried away with this one. Drama free, just, you know, smoke when you're PMSing so you don't do the women thing of just starting fights. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. If that's not pick me, then we don't agree on what pick me means. She said it. She said the words that came out of her mouth. Pick me. Pick me. I'm an obnoxious backseat driver. Oh. That's gonna be a problem. Really? Well, I drive real fast. I'm a race car driver. Fast driver. Suave. Suave. Daddy type. We live in Los Angeles. There is a ton of traffic here. I know some really good shortcuts to get around the city to avoid traffic. And when I drive with people who don't know those, I just, you know, I want to help them and tell them. And sometimes it is easier if I drive. I just want to help them, okay? I just want to. I just want to help these people. I just want to help them. That's what that's what an obnoxious backseat driver is. Okay, it's not. Hey, so like I'm just gonna throw in a suggestion. Okay, how about we skip the traffic? That's not what they do. Okay, so I don't know what you're trying to make it sound like. You're. Just... You know, I want to help them until the, the word obnoxious is in the sentence. I just want to help them. You can't be helpful and obnoxious. That's what GPS is for. But all right. 
<laughs> okay. Time to reveal more baggage. I stuff my bra. Oh my god, it stuffs your bra. Bag number two. I sleep with my seven dogs. Oh my god. Bag number three. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh god, no. I practice witchcraft. Man said, away with this shit. Away with it. Close the bag. Whose bag is it? Go home. He gets to choose now who's going home. Spoiler alert. I have a feeling it's the witchcraft girl. The deal breaker is witchcraft. <laughs> Not Susie. She's gonna strike him with a spell. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Mal looks like she's like, it's I'm the deal breaker. <laughs> she's like, you fucked up. You fucked up. I'm sorry, Susie. <laughs> please, Susie. We're sorry. We're very sorry, Susie. Susie, please. You know what's funny is the name Susie is just not giving witch, you know? The legend, the tales of the greatest witch of the land. Susie. It's just not doing it for me. You know, Cersei sounds like a witch. Cersei, not Susie. No, Susie sounds like a really sweet neighbor that makes you cookies for no reason. That's what Susie sounds like. Are we on the same page here? Well, don't talk smack about Susie. You're gonna have to pack up and go. Sorry, Susie, I didn't know. It's nothing personal. Man's just trying to dodge the curse at this <laughs> at this point. Best part is Susie's silent as fuck. Susie didn't Susie didn't say a word. Okay, that's what makes it so scary. Two women remain. You sleep with seven dogs. I am such a big cuddler. I I'm so cuddled. Oh, you, you. Chat, maybe if I had the right man in my bed, then I wouldn't need my dogs. Oh, come to bed, furry man. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the way this man speaks. Look, he doesn't even- man's brain dead. Stuffing your bra. <laughs> Stuffing my bra. I mean, what about it? It's really not a big deal, I think. Listen, I love my body. It's just that sometimes you find the perfect dress, and you don't have the ladies oh. to fill it properly. <laughs> I, that's fair, honestly. It's really not a big deal. Ladies, it's time to reveal your biggest baggage. It's admirable. Is that baggage? <laughs> Honestly, is that baggage? Is that really baggage? I don't understand why that would be baggage. Yeah, the best part though, is how stressed Jerry was about it. Maz was having a really hard time, okay, coming to terms with how she wants to wait for marriage. I just don't get it. Why do you take the position you do? It's a fair, it's a fair, it's a fair, it's, it's a fair position to take, but why do you take it? It was really having a hard time. Whoa. I've been on 300 what? first dates in three years. Wow. <laughs> that's like 100 dates a year. Mam is on a date every three days. Wow, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty all right. She wants to know, she wants to know what's out there, you know? What's on the, I know your OCD ass has been looking at this necklace and feeling very pissed about it because it's not perfectly where it needs to be, so I'm gonna fix it just for you, okay? <laughs> how did you have time to make it here? <laughs> no, I wanna know how she's gonna pick me out of this one. Um, a few years back, I decided that I was really ready to find that right man and settle down, but he has to be the right man. So I started internet dating, and I was getting hundreds of emails a day. Emails? Emails? <laughs> what dating app are you on? MSN, what is this? Outlook, Hotmail, Hotmails.com? Is that what, what dating app is this? Sending you emails. So I would meet maybe, you know, within like an hour and a half, two to three people for a cup of coffee, one after the other, which makes for a lot of first dates. And 98% of them were the wrong guy. Okay, so 2%, 98% were the wrong, so 2% were good. So out of the 300 dates, six guys were the one, you know? Six dudes were the one. 
they were they were the one. You could be number seven. Pick me. Imagine three hundred people did that. Like it was a it was a thing. You know, it's not <laughs> it was, like it was it was a normal thing. You know, people just emailed her like, "Dear Maya, I hope my email finds you well. I am writing you this letter to inform you that I have seen your pictures and I am interested." in making your acquaintance. Perhaps we may arrange a time, a rendezvous, per se, wherein we may or may not develop an offline connection over a cup of coffee. Is that something that sounds of interest to you? Let me know. Looking forward to hearing back from you. Kind regards. John. Ah, oh, yes. Sounds very romantic. It's just, you know, the, the norm. You know, it's what people fucking do. It's no wonder you don't have any dates. You, you didn't check your email for a while. Wait, there has to be something in my email. Right, wait, let me check. James, maybe? Oh, no, James only has $10.5 million for me. He's just the accounting manager here in the BOA Bank of West Africa, Ghana. Maybe, maybe I have to make the first move, you know? No, James. But how about a cup of coffee? It's because you don't have game. That's why you're saying James, James Mensa19 at yahoo.com. Not only am I gonna have coffee with this guy, he's gonna give me half of his $10.5 million. Okay. Anyway, I don't want you to be jealous or anything, so we're gonna have to move on. Jet, it's time to choose. Will it be Trisha? Or will it be Maya? Who will it be? I'm sorry. Maya, you have too much baggage. No! No! All the effort, all the effort Maya put in for you to pick her. This was a this was the perfect pick me scenario. Maya. Maybe if I had the right man in my bed, then I wouldn't need my dogs there. Did all of this pick me behavior just so you could pick her? I am such a big cuddler. Emotional flicker. Pick me. You are my Maya, everything. You have too much baggage. No one could have done it better. What have you done? Now you have an angry pick me and a witch who wants to fucking curse you. Could this day get any worse? Yes. He must now reveal his biggest baggage. And it could be one of these three possible scenarios. I want you to guess which one do you think it is, okay? Did he sleep with his ex-girlfriend's mom? <sighs> I don't know, maybe, maybe. You know, it's kind of creepy that I can't say no. I'm, I'm not sure, and I think that's a little creepy, but maybe he did. Does he have a room just for his snakes? Or does he sleep on a couch with no job and no car? No, no, it's, it's definitely not this one. Because like, you know, you remember like he drives fast, remember? How can he not have a car and drive fast? He's also a sports fan for a living. There's no way it's that one, okay? It just, it doesn't add up. Which is the toughest one for you to handle? Honestly, the no car, no job. Yeah, that's fair. Oh! <gasps> Surprise! All right, <clears throat> he'll explain himself. I'm working with my brother, we're getting a business going. And so, you know, we, we're very motivated people. I fly all over the country just trying to make that work. And that's that's how I am in everything in life, including my relationships. I'm okay, so I'm, I'm assuming Mans did the show because he wants some capital for his business. And that's fair. You know, we respect the hustle. But then he kind of started panicking. Motivated person. I'm a very, very, very nice guy. Cool, fun, funny, smart. Okay, that's a, that's a fair reaction. You don't want to be defined by that one bad thing about you, <laughs> you know? You don't want to do what this show is doing to you, okay? But will she choose him? Jet, I can accept your baggage. Yes! Interesting, so, okay. So this show is all about accepting people's worst aspects. I mean, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's got that logic of, it just can't get worse from here, you know? It's got that kind of logic where, I know all the shitty things about you. At this point, there you can only pleasantly surprise me. You know? That's the logic behind this, I think, the, 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 this dynamic. Could work, you know? Next time you have a first date, dump all the, the, the shit that you carry with you. You know, just dump all your baggage on your first date. Just be like, hey, by the way, I left my phone in a taxi once. 
You know, and then according to this show, if that was your baggage, you'd be an ir irresponsible, spoiled brat for doing that. Because you don't grow from your mistakes, okay? You're just, they define you. That's who you are. So that's, um, interesting dating show, guys. A mess. Jerry Springer. When and where Jerry goes, disaster follows. But of course, don't forget to go check out my girlfriend. What? Yes. I posted her on my Instagram. I posted a picture of us together. I was almost kissing. I was kissing. I was not being kissed. Would you be able to find the picture? Of course you would. It's the last picture I posted. It's a very recent one. Don't panic. Fuck, I know you're panicking. You're like already yelling at me through the screen. I thought you'd be happy for me. No, um, it's just a statue. I think it's a nice picture. Do you? Well, that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope it's made you feel a little better about yourself, you know, about your your single status. No, actually, it's fun to be single. Maybe it's not fun to be like, you know, there's perks to being single. There's perks to being in a relationship. Being single is nice in a way, in its own way, you know, being in a relationship is also nice, but being single is also nice. So thank you for coming. And I hope you learn from your mistakes. What are your red flags? Actually, comment down below. What is your red flag? That would be interesting to talk about. What is something that you think is your toxic trait? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. My toxic trait is thinking I have the social battery to go on 300 first dates. I don't. I just don't have the battery for for it. But that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope Susie doesn't think about you. As long as you said hi to Susie, I think you should be okay. Did you say hi to Susie? If you said hi to Susie, you should be fine. But that was pretty much it, guys. I'm going out. Bye. Just make sure you say hi to Susie, but at least say bye to Susie before this video ends, just to make sure you're fine, okay?